Savitri Book 10 The Book of the Double Twilight Canto 3 The Debate of Love and Death Page 623 Fourth Line O oh, Death, thou lookest on an unfinished world Assailed by thee and of its road unsure, people by imperfect minds and ignorant lies, and sayest God is not and all is vain. How shall the child already be the man? Because he is infant, shall he never grow? Because he is ignorant, shall he never learn? In a small fragile seed, a great tree lurks. In a tiny gene, a thinking being is shut, a little element in a little sperm. It grows and is a conqueror and a sage. Then will those spew out death, God's mystic truth, deny the occult spiritual miracle? Still will those say there is no spirit, no God? A mute material nature wakes and sees. She has invented speech, unveiled a will. Something there waits beyond towards which she strives. Something surrounds her into which she grows. To uncover the spirit, to change back into God, to exceed herself is her transcendent task. In God concealed the world began to be. Tardily it travels towards manifest God. Our imperfection towards perfection toils. The body is the chrysalis of a soul. The infinite holds the finite in its arms. Time travels towards revealed eternity. A miracle structure of the eternal mage, matter, its mystery hides from its own eyes, a scripture written out in cryptic signs, an occult document of the all wonderful's art. All here bears witness to his secret mind, in all we feel his presence and his power. A blaze of his sovereign glory is the sun, a glory is the gold and glimmering moon, a glory is his dream of purple sky. A march of his greatness are the wheeling stars, his laughter of beauty breaks out in green trees, his moments of beauty triumph in a flower. The blue seas chant, the rivulet's wandering voice, are murmurs falling from the eternal's heart. This world is God, fulfilled in outwardness. His ways challenge our reason and our sense. By blind root moments of an ignorant force, by means we slight as small, obscure or base, a greatness founded upon little things, he has built a world in the unknowing void. His forms he has massed from infinitesimal dust, his marvels are built from insignificant things. If mind is crippled, life untaught and crude, if brutal mass are there and evil acts, they are incidents of his vast and varied plot, his great and dangerous dramas needed steps. He makes with these and all his passion play, a play and yet no play, but the deep scheme of a transcendent wisdom finding ways to meet her lord in the shadow and the night above her is the vigil of the stars 
watched by a solitary infinitude she embodies in dumb matter the divine in symbol minds and lives the absolute a miracle monger her mechanical craft matter's machine worked out the loss of thought Life's engines serve the labor of a soul. The mighty mother, her creation wrought, a huge caprice, self-bound by iron laws, and shut God into an enigmatic world. She lulled the omniscient into nation sleep, omnipotence on inertia's back she drove, trod, perfectly with divine unconscious steps the enormous circle of her wonder words